Hey guys, Anthony 4 before diesel. Just want to give you a quick tip. You can see here we're working on a 1KD again. We've got the uh, job, the engine stripped down, the injectors removed. About to check the valve clearances, cleaning up the uh, EGR parts and the valve cover and all that sort of thing. Over here on the bench, we've got the old dirty old injectors which we've analysed and um, discussed and explained to you what went wrong with these injectors in another video and talked about these seats. We've got the return line, the clamps, the bolts, and whatever. Old EGR gaskets rubbish, we'll be replacing those. This one's even going to get a new set of clamps. The bolts are fine, you do not to replace those bolts. They're fine to reuse forever until someone's over tightened them and wrecked them, but you're more likely you're going to pull the alloy out of the head where they screw into and you can see there's a good 20 to 25 mil they go in, so that's unlikely to happen. Um, there's no need to replace those bolts, guys. We're going to give it a, a new set of clamps and the little dome washers and see these big fat bolts, they can sometimes twist these little washers. So we've got our parts, or well, just prepared the parts. And this is how we roll, we make sure we've got a nice clean bench and prepare all the parts ready for installation replacement, right? So just quickly go through what they are, what we're replacing and why. Now it's pretty obvious why we're replacing the injectors um, because they're well and truly overdue, old and flogged. The replacements are much better, they'll probably last longer, but you know these better injectors they haven't really been around for that long so we need to give it more time to really know how long they're going to last so for now our guide of seven years 170 is probably the best it's an indication so once you contact me directly if you're pretty close to replacing your injectors I could probably give you an indication and watch the videos on diagnostics and injector information and you won't even need to contact me you'll know when is the right time to replace your injectors um, sometimes we've got an abundance of clamps in stock um, I've said it in other videos again, but the only reason they get replaced back when they had the customer service exercise in 2015 One of the items on the parts list they replaced was replacing the injector clamps. I've never seen a problem with one They're a cast piece of steel that I can't see an issue with but maybe from over tightening other workshops I've heard from have actually had broken clamps So I don't know if it's from over tightening or what but Every now and then with those older ones, you know, if we've got heaps in stock, which we have at the moment. So anyone that purchases a injector kit for a 120 Prado or any of the earlier Hiluxes before, let's say mid-09, if you just ask for them, you can get a free set of clamps and washers valued at 100 bucks. At the moment, anybody that sees this video that says, hey, I watched that video that said I get a free extra set of seats, I can see your neck, extra set of seating washers, one, two, three, four, they're six bucks each, and these O-rings are four dollars each, right? Genuine. So that's another 40 bucks. If you only if you ask, guys, you need to put in that text message. That's how you contact me. Okay, so new injectors, obvious clamps. I've explained why these little dome. So the clamps are about 20. Uh, what are they? About 24 bucks each or something. These little dome washers are a couple bucks each. So around about 100 bucks worth of clamps. We can throw those in for those earlier ones. Um, these are single use only. The little return line gaskets on the fuel line. You can reuse that fuel line under the valve cover. Just as per our videos in the VIP group, do your checks, make sure it's straight, not bent. Um, you put some oil on them, all that sort of thing. It's single use only. Once you tighten those up and take them off again, you should be replacing them. We also upgrade the bolts. Again, only if you ask for it. You don't have to do this, but because we're a bit OCD fussy, um, we upgrade to the later ones. See, they're the smaller heads instead of those big, if you go earlier in the video, they had big fat heads on them and they quite commonly grab these and twist them and it doesn't matter you don't have to do that because these are worth about 50 bucks those four bolts and if you ask for them you, if you've got a 120 or a Hilux up and they change so you don't know until you open the valve cover these changed around about oh, late 2009 even some of the 150s um, had the bigger bolts so definitely into the 150s so around 209 210 they changed to these smaller ones and generally they do not grab and twist those um, gaskets which is why I like them but it doesn't matter if you haven't got them it doesn't matter so if you say hey Ant, I want to upgrade to those I've got a 2008 so I know they're definitely going to be the big heads and I want to upgrade them just remind me about that in the message 50 bucks and I'll throw in a set of four of those if I've got them in stock these nozzle seals sometimes they're soft and you can reuse them but we don't muck around we just put new ones these sometimes quite often they're soft and they're not worth the trouble of uh, remove and refit to replace those but they're included in the kit in case you need them unless you say mine's a 2014-15 we know they're going to be soft we know we're not going to need them then you're going to save about 20 bucks or something off the kit the map filter of course because they crack and they're blocked up inside even if they're not cracked 
new valve cover gasket nice and soft even though the old ones do stay pretty good and really important these are the main EJR gaskets you're going to replace so this job is a injector replacement and EJR clean so these are the gaskets we're going to use underneath the EJR valve the one that goes between the elbow and the manifold the ones that go each side of the EJR and the one at the throttle body they're the gaskets that will get replaced we just got it all laid out ready to go and I thought I'd go through it all and just show you what we're replacing and why this is your typical minimum requirement it's not really minimum we could take we could take that out right we could take those out I'm gonna make a bit of a mess of my uh, thing here you don't really need those you could get rid of those right so let's put those over there these seating washers and o-rings come with the injectors all right those you need to buy all this uh, look you could let's say if you you could you could not replace those if you really want to get you know silly about it you could probably reuse some of these EJR gaskets and you'll get get away with that most of the time but I'm at the point now where I go you know what look how much money we're investing in the time just put new gaskets anyway all new gaskets we've got a video on that showing the part numbers of those EJR gaskets if you want to do that or if you purchase this injector kit with all the other gear there's other stuff that comes in the injector kit also for DIYs um, just let us that we can include all this in the kit but we don't sell the EJR gaskets separately a few people miss that um, the main thing we guarantee is brand new genuine fresh injectors no remanufactured right no Chinese copies right you can have a look at them don't worry you know don't think you can pick it from oh whether these are purple gray or blue or because the color of the dye they put in the plastic it just varies a little bit all right so genuine fresh stock as you can get all genuine fresh stock as you can get packed packed for safety not for good looks right when we pack stuff it's not to make it look good anyway i just wanted to go through that we've got it all prepared to go back into this uh engine i'll just show you quickly let's take these bolts next to the other ones and compare so you know what i'm talking about if you haven't already please um hit pause and go and give us the thumbs up and make sure you subscribed and turn the bell on now so you don't miss the next important bit of information right now i'm just going to put this one down next to it just to show you what i mean so what happens is i'll give you an example this is a factory job we've removed and you can see it probably twisted when we undid it because you can see it's turned that way right you can see the way it's twisted but uh, that one as well so they sort of stick a bit that one as well that one as well so look from factory generally they're not twisted but see how the head is really big underneath that head there it only takes obviously a small burr or anyway that's the old one that's the new one for whatever reason right they've redesigned it and i can tell you that all the ones i've done those washers twist a lot with these even you can clean them you can polish them you can put oil on them and everything quite often they don't twist any of them right quite, quite often they don't but quite often they do twist at least one and it just does my head in okay even though i've had no leaks never had a leak never had a problem i don't know how people have that problem and there's places i'm not going to bother naming in this video careful where you go like I always say but this is easy prevention for 50 bucks subject to availability if they become really popular and everyone's going oh yeah i want injector kit and i want those too uh we've got quite a few in stock we've got more coming but you know if people buy more than you know because a lot of people aren't worried about it you can save 50 bucks is the other way to look at it they'll do the job they're fine i suggest give them a good cleanup maybe run some uh wet and i haven't done this yet but maybe a bit of wet and dry underneath the head of the bolt just to make sure it's there's no little burrs that are going to grip on it make sure your washers are nice and straight what do i mean by that let's go and have a look at the uh back over there for one more little bit back to the clean bench right and i'll put the bolt down already there so what do i mean see these see these right now you just want to make sure they're nice and square and everything like that you may find them sometimes they're in the kit perhaps even they can get a little bit bent and twisted they're very soft and that's not a problem they can be slightly out you know have a look at these ones right they might be slightly out but just take your minute this is another little tech tip i suppose we used to do the tech tip things but after we did eight full lengths uh injector replacement videos we don't sort of worry about the little bits and pieces i thought we'd done it but i know there's new people coming along and they haven't seen all the older videos so it's important to watch these i suppose and for us to do it again is as important it is for you to go back and uh you know watch those videos but just make sure 
they're just sitting nicely, you know, just get the alignment right, it'll slip over the rail, the bolts, put the oil, a little bit of oil for lubrication so it doesn't grip up and twist, and obviously there's five of those, you've got the four on the return lines here, but you've also got the fifth one that goes on the back of the return line. Anyway, I've waffled on enough, I know a lot of people loved it and it's helped them and they understand a bit more of what's going on with these parts and why. Please give us a thumbs up if you did, and um, please subscribe, turn the bell on if you haven't already for your own. Don't miss out on the next bit of the million piece jigsaw puzzle. Alright guys, see ya.